Greetings, Laura Leader here with Law Office Solution. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can take a scanned image of your signature and save that as a little image file, and then later you might use that as your signature inside a Word document, um, inside an email message, any place you want to make it look like you signed something, uh, even though you're really just sitting at your desk. So the first thing you want to do is make the scan document. So obviously you need something that will scan. Um, I recommend using a blue pen so that your image is blue and will look more real. And I recommend a fine tip felt pen because that'll give you a nice solid line that will be easy for the computer to see. You know, it'll, it'll stand out. I didn't have one of those handy. I used a uh, different type of pen, but I got a pretty decent line here. You can see it's it's not too faint uh, in areas. So the first thing you want to do is sign a piece of paper, scan that, and then you'll have the scanned item. Now it may be an image that you scan to, most likely it'll be a PDF. And so I'm going to show you the first step is how, if it is a PDF, uh, how do, would you get that image as an image out of that document? I've got it in Word, not PDF, um, just because that was more handy for me, but it all works the same. So let, just pretend like this is in a PDF document and you're looking at it on your computer screen. I'm going to go to my Start button in Windows, and this will work in Windows 10 or 2007. I'm going to start typing the word SNP because that will bring up the snipping tool, which comes with Windows. Click that. That Here's the little snipping tool that popped up. Now, the way you use this, I want to, I want to just snip my signature. So I'm going to click New. Everything goes hazy, and I will click and drag around the image that I want. And as soon as I let go, whatever I have selected, it copies. So it's now copied to memory. It's showing it to me here. I'm going to minimize that. Um, now I need to get that into some sort of photo editing software. And for this, I'm going to use something called paint.net because it's free. I'll show you where you can go to get it. And it has a really cool tool that will let us make the background of our image transparent so that once you're using it like you can drag it over a line and the line will show through behind your signature so paint.net you can get let me go to their help button and go to their website at www.getpaint.net and I don't think you need to put this little index thing in. And then you see you can download it. I've had it for years. It doesn't seem to have any spyware or anything bad like that in it. It's free. Um, you can donate to them, which I do occasionally because it's such a valuable tool uh, to me at any rate. So I've got paint.net and I've got it installed right here and I have it open. So remember, I used that snipping tool and I copied, so or it copied my signature. So that is up in the computer memory right now. All I need to do is paste. So I could go in here to edit, paste, um, I'll do paste that into new image and that so it will make an image the size of my signature. So there it is. Now for the really cool thing, I want the background transparent. So there is a tool in paint.net called the magic wand and I'm clicking it here. If you don't see these tools, if they're not appearing, sometimes things seem to disappear in here, um, click the little hammer and it will appear and then you want the magic wand to be on. With the magic wand, if you just click, let me zoom in on this first so we can see it a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna, I didn't click yet. I'm gonna click and you can see it outlines the image. However, in this case, it does 50% by default. And in this case, when I press delete to get rid, it's grabbing all the background. So it when I, where I clicked, it was white. So it grabbed everything that was within 50% of that color. That was too much. Um, you can see it got part of my L here. And this is where with a felt tip pen, you'll have better luck than I am right now. Um, but let me undo that. And let's tell this that we want a smaller tolerance. I'll say 17%. And now I've still got the magic wand on. And I'm going to click again and you can see it did a much better job. So it left a lot more or all of my ink behind. So I'm going to press delete and that deleted what it grabbed. Now 
I also would like to get rid of the white in the loops in my name because if I do drag my signature over a solid line, I want the line to show as if I'd really signed it by hand. So I'm going to click within all these areas and just make sure each time I'm not taking too much and that I'm getting enough. And I can zoom in, control and roll, hold the control key down and roll the wheel on top of your mouse, assuming you have one, to zoom in. And that's good. I'm happy with that. So now let me just save this as an image. So what you want to understand before you save as an image is only certain types of images can be saved with a transparent background like we have here. And one of them that will work in Microsoft Word and other Microsoft programs is called a PNG image. It stands for Portable Network, Im Portable Network Graphics, Graphics PNG. So JPEG, you, everybody's probably heard of, but JPEGs I don't believe can have transparent backgrounds. So I'm going to do a Save As, File Save As, a Save My Little Image. And I will put this, I'll just drop it here. I want to pay attention to where I'm putting it. Um, and I'll say my SIG, I'll name it. And notice it's defaulting to PNG as a type, but if it wasn't, I would choose that from the list of types. Choose Save. Now, it's telling me this is how it's going to save it. Um, you know, how much, I don't even know what dithering is. I mean, I, maybe I kind of do. But I would just go with the defaults as long as it looks okay um, and say okay. Now I've saved it. Now, I'm going to jump into Microsoft Word really quick and show you how I could use it. Um, but then in a separate video, I'll show how you can actually save it so that you can pop it into Word anytime you want. So. I've already got it in this document. Let me just uh, do a new blank document. I pressed Control N for new on my keyboard. So here I am in a document and I want my signature and let's say I've got a line, uh, my signature line here. Love, Laura. And I'll press Control U for underline and tab a couple times to draw a line and then below that I'll write my name. We don't want that to be underlined, obviously. Um, there we go. And then I want my signature to go above it. And uh, so I could click roughly where I want my signature, but it really isn't going to matter where my cursor is because I'm going to just dra I drag the signature where I want it. So to get it, I would do insert picture. And now I, here's where I have to remember where I put it. Usually I would not, but I paid attention for all of you. And I'll sort by date my SIG. Insert. And there it is. Now, it came in, let me drop the zoom down a bit for you. It came in large. I could have changed the size of it in that paint.net editing tool, but going from large to smaller, you usually don't lose any of the quality, but going from small to larger you do. So I'll just make it smaller here in Word. Um, so the important thing, I, what I'm trying to say is when you make your image, you want to make sure it's big enough, what you save is big enough, that you're not stretching it once you put it into programs like Word. This is also in line with text, which means it's, it's like a character. You know, I could get in front of it and start typing and it pushes it. If I press enter on the keyboard, which I just did, it pushes it down. So it's as if it's like a big character or word within my document. I want to be able to drag it around and see how it's all above the line because it's like a character. It's within a certain spot in the document. So I want to right click my image and go to the wrapping and I want to put it in front of text. And see as I move my mouse over these other choices, you can see um, it's showing how it's going to look. Some people will do behind text and if you sign on white paper and do not have a transparent background, you can say to put it behind text and then you can see the part of my name that's over words and whatnot doesn't, it looks like I actually signed it. It's, it's not um, making the text wrap around it. But when you say behind text, it's really hard later to click and drag the image. It's like hard to get a hold of the picture later. So I like to make the transparent background and then say in front of text, 
there it is now I want to make it smaller that's way too big um, when I have a picture clicked if I click off it click on it the formatting ribbon for pictures appears and within there here's the sizing and I will just let's say that I want the height of it to be three quarter inches the reason I'm going to do it here instead of just dragging is this will keep the ratio the proportion the same so that it doesn't get like really fat looking or really skinny looking it'll keep its proportion so I'll say 0.75 for three quarter inches and then press enter and you'll see this is the width that number will change too so it keeps everything in proportion and now I can just drag it where I want and because I have the transparent background you can see if part of my name goes over the line that's okay it looks like I signed it now in my next video I'll show you how you can take this and save it as a quick part to pop into a document anytime.